Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. This week we're going to change things up a little bit and I want to share how to use an iPad with your Adobe programs on your computer. So it's a really cool way to work really fast, especially in Illustrator. So that's why I'm focusing this video specifically on Illustrator, although you can use the same method with any of your other computer programs. The important thing that you need to know is that you need to grab an app called AstroPad. It's this little guy right here. And you need to install him also on your computer. I'm not sure if it's only Mac compatible or not. That's something to look into. Last I checked, it's about 30 bucks, but it saves you a ton of editing time, especially in Illustrator. So I want to show you kind of my process and how I work with both the iPad and on the computer with Illustrator. So this is an iPad Pro. It's the 12.9 inch iPad. Um, I, I'm really happy that I got the larger size. I think the smaller size, the only difference is the camera's a lot better, but I never use the iPad for the camera, so that didn't really matter to me. I'm using an Apple Pencil. Uh, Apple Pencils, which I didn't realize when I got it, need to be charged. This is where they get charged. Uh, you can plug it into the port at the bottom of your iPad, and it also comes with an adapter, so you can use it with your regular charging cord. And it just snaps right back on. So I. I use the iPad Pro with my keyboard right above it and I've got my mouse to my right. Um, so I kind of have a little bit going on here, but it becomes really natural as you start working. So I just wanted to share my process. If you want to learn more about using an iPad uh, for design work, I've got an entire brand new Skillshare class called Intro to iPad Lettering, which I'll leave a link to. Um, that uses a, a program called Procreate, which is I think the most popular program uh, currently to create lettering with using an iPad. Anyway, we're going to hop right in. I'm just going to tap on AstroPad and it's going to bring up exactly what I have on my screen right now, which is an Illustrator and it's just this little scan of a doodle. So this program is really, really easy. It's basically just mirroring what's on your computer screen. And if you tap on this little circle thing right here, you get some options. I never use these, but I think the most helpful one is probably zooming in and zooming out though you can pinch to zoom and pinch to zoom out. I use two fingers to navigate around my screen, much like you would if you were holding a space bar and clicking and dragging on your computer. I just use two fingers to move around here. Um, I do use the keyboard quite a bit as I'm using this. So I'll move my mouse, um, I'll zoom in with my keyboard sometimes, I'll use my space bar to navigate around any uh, larger areas. You just kind of get a flow for what works best for you once you, once you begin really getting into it. Okay, so I'm just going to show you really fast how to clean this vector art up. Um, right now it's just a scan, so we need to live trace it. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do this part just using the computer. So I'm just going to do a basics uh, live trace. Ungroup it after it's been traced. Command Shift G or Control Shift G on a PC. Hit Y on your keyboard for your magic wand tool. Click the white area. Hit Delete. And now I can get right into cleaning it up. So I hit V on my keyboard for my selection tool. I'm going to click on a portion of the doodle. And then I'm going to hit N on my keyboard. I have two other tutorials on cleaning up vectors that are more traditional using a Wacom stylus and then also just your mouse. So check those out if you're interested in learning more about cleaning up your vectors. This way is the fastest way I've ever used, so I wanted to share that. So I'm going to hit N on my keyboard for my pencil tool, and then I'm just going to grab part of the path and just draw as if this were paper. And it cleans it right up and it still looks very hand-drawn. And I'll just come around the whole doodle and do this whole thing like this, and it's a gigantic time saver. Like, there's no way I'd be able to move this fast with a mouse, even though I'm pretty handy with a mouse now. And it really keeps that hand-drawn look because I am drawing it with my hand. Come down here. And already, we basically cleaned up this entire doodle. And now I can hit V on my keyboard, grab the next section of the doodle right over here, kind of get it positioned on my iPad screen, hit N on my keyboard, and then I can just clean it up using the Apple Pencil. So it's really fast and I can already jump to my next one right here. Hit N on my keyboard to grab my pencil tool. And like I said, you can 
use this with other programs. Uh, Photoshop's, I use Photoshop's interface a lot as I'm working, but with Illustrator, when I get in the zone of doing one task, I, I usually live there for a little while, um, which is why Illustrator has been so awesome with the iPad for me. Okay, and just like that, this is all cleaned up. <laughs> this is like the fastest I've ever cleaned up vector artwork ever. So it comes out looking just like I want. It's super clean. It's not obvious that it was ever live traced, and that's how to do that. So. I want to give you a little sneak peek into how I use this method to create my newest font, Hawthorne script, which just came out this week. Um, so I'm giving you a little behind the scenes look at my font making process. I am definitely making a font making class later in the year. I've gotten a lot of requests for that. So hold tight because it is coming. Um, but I want to give you a little sneak peek right now. So yeah, this looks pretty insane, but I draw letters out a ton and then I kind of narrow things down and get things exactly how I like. So this is the mid development of Hawthorne script. I save a bunch of different files as I'm going. So this is one of the first um, files that I saved when I was still kind of experimenting and figuring out how thick I wanted my strokes and how thin I wanted my strokes and getting all my angles right and letters correct. Um, so I'm just gonna grab this H right here and show you how I would clean it up as I'm grabbing letters. I write out like a bunch of random words just to see how the font will look in the style and then when I'm happy with it then I really go in and break it up and make sure everything looks really consistent so I'm gonna come into this H so this just gives you an idea of how you can use this for font making so I'm gonna hit N on my keyboard and especially with um, fonts that are supposed to look like they're handwritten this is a really awesome method because it still maintains that handwritten look um, but you have some clean edges that are consistent throughout. So I'm gonna hit V on my keyboard, tap on it, hit N to grab my pencil, and then I can just grab this interior portion right here and clean it up. And just like that, I've got my letter all cleaned up. So it's a super fast process. Um, even though the app is 30 bucks, I definitely feel like I've gotten my money's worth already and I've only been using it for probably a month or so. So that's how to speed up your workflow in Illustrator using an iPad. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday, and don't forget to head on over to my blog, every-tuesday.com, for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. Also, don't forget to check out my new Skillshare class, Intro to iPad Lettering, and I will also leave a link in the video description to this font, all finished now, Hawthorne script. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next week.